really good uh, second half we played to, to pull away and, and get a big win. Um, hats off to West Virginia in the first half. I thought they did some really good things to slow us down rushing the football with a lot of stunts. Uh, and then we struggled to tackle uh, the quarterback. We were ahead because we had forced a couple turnovers and, and, uh, and scored off of them, and that was a big deal for us. Uh, but at 17 to 10, we challenged the guys because we knew we needed to play better, uh, more physical on both sides of the line of scrimmage, uh, and we were able to do that. And uh, uh, they were going to try to take away DJ Giddens, and I thought they did a nice job of that. All the more, um, Avery's progress as a passer uh, has been phenomenal, and today he was so poised. Guys made plays for him, threw a couple of strikes, and it was uh, it was fun to. To see us have to throw the football to be successful and, and be able to do that. Where do you think Avery did best in that? I, I thought he just was calm. I thought he was really cool in the pocket. I thought we had a really good game plan to attack some things on the throw game that I, that I thought we could get, um, and, and we did. We attacked him on, on some things, and, and we went hurry up on the one to J Jack, and, and we thought we could get behind um, the corner of the safety there based on going fast and, and then he threw a strike and you know that, that obviously gives him a, a lot of confidence and uh, then he threw a strike to Oak, Oakley made a great catch and then he threw a strike to uh, to Swanee on the one but I just thought <coughs> in critical situations on third down he, he found ways to keep plays alive the one fourth down play he made to, to Ty Bowman was a great point. How challenging was this to go on the road back to back night games? It, it stinks. I, I'll be honest with you. Uh, my, that's what I told the guys. My hat's off to what you guys did the last two weeks to play um, as late as we did. Get home at 6 a.m. We're going to get home at 4 a.m. I didn't get any scheduling help on that. Um, but we find a way to, to come up with two big wins. And uh, it was really impressive what, what our guys did. I think it's going to help us grow um, as the season progresses. But uh, no, what, what we did um, and, and with the guys being banged up and trying to fight through and get them through the week so we could get them as healthy as we could. Um, our, our training staff with, with Mindy and our strength staff with True, they did a phenomenal job. That's that's really hard what we did. Did that experience at BYU kind of help you in these past two games? You know, potentially. Uh, you know, I, I don't know um, as the players that, but I just know that um, uh, they have an edge to them right now, which is a lot of fun to see. And those veterans are really showing up. and. and Holding each other and holding those older guys, uh, holding the younger guys accountable, and the younger guys are making plays. I mean, Jack Fabris is playing his tail off. I mean, big time cat interception and, and had uh, a number of plays on special teams. It's uh, it's fun to see that. Uh, uh, Ty Bowman having a factor on offense now, um, and we get a lot of wide receivers that are making some catches. We threw the ball to an awful lot of guys today. You just mentioned this, but are you seeing this team kind of grow into an identity right now? Yeah, um, you hope so. Yeah, and the identity of just the toughness and um, uh, of one play at a time, one day at a time, and, and just uh, um, know that our best football, we hope, is still in front of us and we continue to improve. improve. Uh, we haven't played our best football yet, which is, um, uh, you know, I, I think a good thing as we finish up the, the month of October. Um, but uh, I know we can play better, but I'm, you know, when you think of we've played we played four conference games and three of them on the road, and all three of them at night. That's tough, guys. That, that, that's hard to do what we've done. Um, and uh, we're sitting in a, in a decent position right now, but but it doesn't mean anything. We we got to get ready to go for the next week. Avery Johnson, you mentioned, I guess, his growth as a passer, and it looked like today he was going through progressions and you know, going from A to B. Uh, what have you seen from him in terms of growing, in terms of reading progressions and being able to get to this? It's just the calmness. It's what we just talked about for about three minutes. It's just he, the kid's calm. He's he's patient he, and he understands things and, and he liked our game plan. Um, and uh, he's not getting antsy in the pocket. He's staying in there and it's fun to see, especially when we were struggling to rush the football, um, that uh, he can come up and, and come up big time like he did, as well as our wide receivers and tight ends came up too. I was going to say, how good are your tight ends right now? Um, they're playing really well, and I'm excited because we're close to getting Lofton back too. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna need him, and that's yeah. It's it's they're a self it's selfless group, and um, uh, led by Swanee, who's the old guy in there. But uh, 
they're, they're having a factor in the run game and the throw game, and as well as the wide receivers are having a factor there too. You didn't have any QB runs tonight, but just by design. Can you bet? Just with what we went through last week, um, uh, we didn't need it. We wanted to throw the football. What was it like, just the reaction to the interception return, you know, give you a double-digit lead, and it's always good to see yeah. something like that that's unexpected? Well, you know, it's, we had one two years ago when we played here, uh, and, it, and it gives a huge spark. Um, and we needed that spark, because we weren't playing well on either side, and uh, we, Marquise does a great job. We, we blitz, but we zone blitz behind it. He makes a big interception. And then to find a way to get it in the end zone. It's fun to score on defense with those guys, and um, that was a huge play. One more. Goal line stand. Is that the turn point of the game? Yeah, that was huge because um, we, after the interception, then we give up a long drive and they score. We struggle to tackle the quarterback, and then we have to punt, and then we they have another long drive, and we get that big stop. It was huge, and, and uh, I'm hoping the green kid's okay. I think he's an unbelievable competitor. I said that to, to Neil. I hope he's okay because he's a he's a tremendous competitor, and he's really good for college football. Thanks. Okay.